do here with Raid Shadow Legends to talk about the interview that Ash had with the Cirilla and to also talk about the interview that Hell Hades went over right now. Welcome to Stu's News. Let's get into it. Let's start it off. They had a secret boardroom meeting. This is not my words. Secret Luminati boardroom meeting. Within that meeting, they talked about how ample and impressive the roadmap for 2021 is. Wow. Wow. I bet it is as ample and impressive as the 2019 roadmap that we had finished at the very end of 2020. But other than that, we have no news about what the roadmap is other than a few things I'm going to cover with you right now. Silver cost. There's a lot of people concerned about silver. What the best turn-based gotcha game that this game is copied from does is that once a month you get two days. It's usually the first weekend of the month where you can transfer all, any gear you want without a cost. Let's start there first and maybe with the new daily login reward we're going to get more silver. Maybe they'll come up with other ways. But that is a logical six-year proven way to do it already. Doom Tower is hard and easy. Again, not my words. It's coming straight from Cirilla. The Doom Tower is hard at places, and it's easy at places. Ha! Huh. Who would have even thought? You know, and then some people said hard 56 is difficult. Let me put in, like, some people in here. This guy might die, though. This new guy that I just made might actually die because he doesn't have very much HP if these Zavias get him. Let's see if this floor is hard or not for, like, the average player. We'll see. For, for like, log and reward champions and stuff. So they said it's hard and easy at parts. Look. You don't need to change the Doom Tower. Some of the Doom Tower bosses might be easy because we can turn me to reduce them. We get that. We don't have to worry about the mechanics. But you know what else we do? We play an unkillable clan boss and we don't worry about the clan boss mechanics. We go into Spiders 20 and we don't worry about any of the spider mechanics, do we? We just light that spider up. So I don't see, I think it's kind of weird to say that we don't, you know, that we as in-game whales don't worry about the mechanics. But there's other people out there. Not everybody has a crazy roster. Right now, I think the Doom Tower is great. They need to definitely get more analytics on it, get an analysis of what's going on, where people are stumped, and maybe help some like few areas out. But saying that this thing is easy, just because you're a whale and you have everything, like I do, is crazy sauce. Super crazy sauce. You need to keep it the way it is. I think it's balanced very well. I think the bosses are really good. It's very challenging for a lot of people out there, and we need to spend more time on it. This hasn't even been a, we're, we're about to reset for the next month. Let's give it six months and see how it goes, okay? Then we'll decide on, like, what's easy in this Doom Tower or not, because there's a lot of people, a lot, that are having issues with the Doom Tower. Rightfully so. They need more gear. They might need some more select champions. We might need to show them the way to go through there and use champions that we log in reward. Come on, Zavia, don't kill my people. Don't you do it, Zavia. Oh, whoa, whoa, don't, come on, stun him up. Bad L is going to remove it here. Oh, is that why people don't like this one? Because Bad L will remove. Zabby is going to kill our people and they can't revive just like that. Well, you know what? If I did A1s the whole time before I got here, Umble Enchantress would be already provoking all these guys for enough turns that we could get through it, right? Oh, she got him on time. Okay, we'll see what happens. Let's get rid of these Zabbias though. They are dirty, very dirty. So they talked about boss fights are easy. Yo, boss fights are not easy, okay? especially like i said it depends on everybody's account is different let's move on to balancing champions they talked about balancing champions ha cirilla talked about balancing champions well guess what we don't know who or what's going on or what's going to happen it is a normal thing in a game like this what you're supposed to do is bring out new champions that are kind of meta or at least give you a power creep and then every three months or sooner really every three months is good you bring out balance with that you bring out, like, what's her name? Fix Nil? You bring out a Fix Nil. She's really awesome. Everybody wants her. You get that Fix Nil. And then three months later on, you buff all the other champions in the game. You know, it's like a process, right? You don't buff all of them at once. But you buff them because you're bringing out other champions that are strong. You bring that power creep so people want to spin and you're not crazy. We don't go crazy like Rodos when he originally came out. Okay, I don't know what this next wave is, but so far, Samuel's got 28,000 HP and he hasn't fallen over yet. And we've got just like, I mean, come on. Come on. Who said this 56 is hard or something? All right. We'll see at the end. Maybe we're going to die at this next wave. Balancing champions. Yes. It's a normal thing to do in every single turn-based gotcha game out there. Do we know what or when? We don't know. Cirilla just said that. New faction samurai's coming. Holy crap. We're going to get a samurai faction. I'm in Japan. Can you believe that? It's like swish, swish. Hold on. We got to make sure we get this. Uh, Make sure we get there. Yeah, yeah. Samurai faction. Hey, we've had sketches, drawings. We've seen champions from a samurai faction from over a year ago. Can you believe that? Yeah, we're going to get a samurai faction. Duh. When? 
We don't know yet. <laughs> Sometime, spring, winter, summer, whatever she says in an interview, hey, we're getting Samurai Factions. What else is on the list? For over a year, early spring, something, something. Battle Pass Season 2 did not work out. It just didn't work out. So we're probably not going to see another Battle Pass Season 2. Is that bad? Eh, not really. Come on, Samuel. Yeah, get the fears up. Get the fears up. Not a bad thing. Season of Battle Pass would be fun. A lot of games have a Battle Pass. All they have to do is put out a Battle Pass and just put books in there and energy in there and a few little glyphs. We don't need any champions. But the thing is, right now, it's going to double up on our advanced quests. It's going to double up on our daily login. We're going to get a new daily login. But you have to be playing the game for a really long time to get the brand new daily login that's going to give us a lot of nice... Well, Samuel's not coming back now. Now she killed my Samuel. Okay, now we might not be able to kill this bad L because we don't have DPS. My Samuel! Sham Shamuel. It's not Samuel, Stu. It's the Shamuel. I get it, guys. I know. Okay, so we're going through here. Maybe we can kill Bad L after this and finish this run. She blocked the revive. I think we're going to be fine. So the... The battle pass, we don't really need because it will kind of just have too many of the same quests that we're doing over and over. we got the bazaar. We've got the advanced quest. We could use a battle pass, but we don't need champions with it. Will we see it again? Did I enjoy the first one? Yeah, I enjoyed it, but I don't think it's necessary with everything that we're getting in the future. And just might as well forget about it. I don't think it's in the card for them. They, I don't, they didn't say, look, the whole interview, they didn't say anything. Let's just get on with the next stuff they didn't say. Dupe system. Yes, we're working on it. Yeah, you bet. You've been working on it. It's a dupe system. You know who else has a dupe system? The other game I talked about that's been around for plus six years that has a dupe system. Raid Shadow Legends though, guys. Maybe we take three or four legendaries and pay $20 and get a random legendary. Who knows? Is there one coming? Yes. Is it soon? We don't know. What will it be? We don't know. Okay, cool. We knew that already. The Void Tower was never the Doom Tower. So the Void Tower we see on the map, it's not for this tower. Hey, look. See? Look. This is hard. Come on. Doom Tower hard. You can't do it with login champions. Give me a break. Level 56. We're done. So we have the dupe system. Yes, the Doom Tower, Void Tower that we see on the map. Let's go over and check this out. Let's get, let's get, let's make sure we all understand. Whoa. Let's make sure we all understand what we're looking at on this map right there. This tower was never going to be that tower, but it is a tower and we don't know what it's going to be used for yet, but there are plans for this tower. Thanks, Cirilla. Thanks. Appreciate it. So much info. I don't know what to do with it. This new roadmap is already just, it seems very ample and impressive. Wow. Okay. So the Hydra Boss, they do have plans for the Hydra Boss still. It will be coming out when we don't know because they're working on something else in the near future that they feel like we're going to love. What is that? We don't know. Will we love it? We don't know. But it's going to come sometime in the near future. Again, this is the roadmap for 2021. Everyone, you're welcome choose your champion you're welcome hydra boss in the plan sometime in the future winner clan wars every turn-based game out there has a clan versus clan component this is not a new thing this is a natural part of the game they are catching up with making the doom tower they finally made the doom tower i love it i love the game you know that they're finally catching up with all other games all other games come out of the box with this stuff and guess what they have clan versus clan battles where you go in there and you fight. You fight like a territorial type battle. You're 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 matched up with other clans out there. And then your your base, like mine, my stews would be three groups of threes or two groups of five. You definitely would not do it in a 4v4 PV format. You would change it up so the meta would be a little different. I have a lot to process for 2021. So they're working on something to do with clan versus clan, but we don't know if it's an actual clan versus clan wars. Like we've got in Summoner's Wars, like we have in Epic 7, like we have in all the other gotcha turn-based games that have been around and super popular that this game is modeled after. We don't know. They haven't said anything. So let's just recap. We don't know. We don't know. Stuff's coming that we knew about. We don't know. That's it, man. That is all I've gotten so far out of this. I think it is very interesting. I hope we can all agree that 2021 is going to be great. I know we're going to have a good time. Look, we've got the Doom Tower. I honestly don't care. I finally have the Doom Tower. I'm having a blast with it. There's plenty to do in the game. You can have a good time. Come join me on stream. Come join us on Discord if you need information to get through some stuff. Watch some of my videos if you're stuck on the Doom Tower on 85 hard. If you're stuck on 112 hard. I'm doing, I'm, I've doing. i been doing stuff on here without trying to use crazy teams. And I'm going to be doing even more to help you get through here without using any kind of legendaries. Or just the login legendaries to get through all of these waves. And then the bosses are pretty much covered. You know what you got to do with that. You got to have the champions. You got to have the speed. You got to have the accuracy. And we can get through and cheese out 
some of them not all of them but some of them we can that's all i have please let me know if this helped you learn what was happening for 2021 i appreciate all your time the love and support i will see you all on a video soon